everything I want to do with family. And I sleep early because I wake up early. So after 8 p.m., you're not talking to me because I'm already sleeping. I can sleep. Up. So I've already closed my mind to anything that has to do with brain work and processing. Till the next morning at 3, uh, 4 a.m., sometimes 3 a.m., but I'm trying to stay later till 4 a.m. so I can catch some more sleep. So let's say for now, I'm trying to keep it at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. the next day, I've started again. Get prayer, read the whole book, read a few pages of any other book. And once you get to 7 a.m., start family. From family, once the kids are in school, start day, my day job. The research, the teaching, you know, student time and all that, meeting, faculty and all that. Then 6 p.m. back to family time. So I do that Monday to Sunday. So I don't say because it's weekend. My routine is the same. The only thing I don't do on Saturday and Sunday is I don't teach schoolwork. Well, I teach some other classes when I'm teaching. Maybe I'm invited to give talks abroad. So I, some of them are on Saturdays and Sunday. Well, I still have that routine. And it has really helped me because I use that to measure my outcome. And I've been doing this, believe it or not, since I was a young boy. I've always had them with team that starts in the morning. Mm. And, I've, and my kids too have that routine now. So my daughter calls it regimented life, but they know, you know what they should do at certain hours, mm. Monday to Friday, and they know what they do on weekends. And they've started that since they were three. Mm. You can imagine doing it from three to mm. and is 18 now for 15 years. So it's a routine mm. for her it's in her head. So, and that's what I've done for myself as well. Mm. So time management, I cannot really exercise that. Nice. Because it is one way to keep yourself disciplined. Otherwise, every time before you know it, it's night, it's dark, you know, the next thing is nice. you know, it's done, you know. So what are you going, so what's the accountability? You don't manage the time well. Mm. So time management for me, I cannot overemphasize that. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you okay. so much. Because um, um the journey for me, the journey of transformation started from filling my calendar. And not just filling it, filling it with what will move me towards my dream, my goal achievement. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people do to do lists, but they don't do a dream yeah. achievement list to have yeah. their outcome. So yeah. thank you so much for shedding light on that, Prof. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about money. <laughs> Uh, you believe that uh, no matter no matter how small, no matter how big, you must save, uh, mm -hmm. and you are an investor. Mm -hmm. So um, let's let's first let me first say, for you, is money is success? What's your definition of success? Should a young man pursue career first or money first? Pursue you first. Is it money first or career first? That's what I'm saying. Pursue you first. What do you want? To, what do you intend to achieve? What are your values? Because if you create your value, money will follow value. Money follows value. So the first thing you do is first create value. Is your value going to be created through your profession, through your business, through your interaction with people? Create your value. Your money comes. Do if you want to be very successful, you are going to be working hard, right? Studying. If you want to, you know, get their degrees, the right degrees, get you the right positions, or they get you, some of them get you somewhere. Then your attitude gets you the right position because degree yes, doesn't get you anything. It's your attitude. Yes, sir. But the, yes, sir. when you get to where you want to be, then that, mm. there's a price that is attached to that position you're choosing. Mm. Without that position, nobody pays you that price. If you want to be paid as a consultant, as a coach. What value am I paying for? Mm. Right? If somebody wants to hire you, tossing, I want you to be an executive coach. It is because you're bringing something to that team to help them achieve their executive goals, right? Yes, so, sir. what you're bringing is the value that you've created. The money comes. You can now charge for that value. Mm. So, pursue that value first, mm. money will come after. Mm. 
Okay, mm -hmm. if you pursue money, you don't have value, you get money today, tomorrow is finished, and nobody's gonna mm -hmm. hire you again. Say that again. Nobody's gonna consult with you again. So, what's the point? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's value first, money follows. Follows. Thank you so much, sir. So, let's talk about gratitude. Um, mm -hmm. I've known you to be a spiritual man, and I've learned a few things from you as well. So why do you always uh, post gratitude? Is it because you don't have um, uh, any challenges? No, not at all. I post gratitude, like I said, um, the first thing I believe is God gives you the grace. The fact yes. that you're awake, uh, you go to bed, you wake up the next morning is grace of God. So I always thank God for the opportunity because it's not by my own doing. It's not because I'm smart. I'm not even the best at what I do. There are some people that are even better than me, but I'm grateful for the little I can do. So I always thank God. I always show gratitude. I show gratitude to God. I also show gratitude to people that work with me. And I like to celebrate others because I want people to celebrate me too. So showing gratitude for me comes easy. I learned that from my parents, from my siblings, and from my friends. And you, you know, you cannot thank people enough. You cannot thank God enough. You cannot thank people enough. Okay, why don't you say, say thank you to someone that has given their time, effort, and resources to make you a better person? If people can do that for you, how much more what God has done for you? Yes. That's why for me, I said I used to say, "Anu you know, "Apollo Yeru," you know, you have to continue to show gratitude because. There are some people that are so wealthy, they don't have some of the things you have with the little wealth that you have. Mm. And some people, you know, so whatever you have, be grateful to God. Because what if you don't have it? Who do you want to fight? Who do you want to beat? Mm. Mm. You're getting because God wants you to have it. So I show gratitude mm. to God all the time. And I started the Thankful Tuesday on my platform, WhatsApp platform. And I was just in for myself if I knew it. If so many of my friends latched onto it and they said totally oh your tuesday things reminds me to thank god as well so thankful tuesday became a tradition and mm. i've been doing it for years now and anytime i miss doing it i get text messages from people oh, Charlie, hope everything's fine and reminding me that i usually set aside tuesday to do thankful tuesdays on my whatsapp platform just whatsapp group you know posts on my status every tuesday has become a tradition so that's gratitude. You can never do more than that. You know, gratitude is never too much. So it's cost me nothing to show gratitude and I will never stop so long as I still breathe. So mm -hmm. for me, that's that has come to stay. Hmm. So uh, let, me, let me ask this question. What's the power of gratitude? The power of gratitude is even in the Quran and in the Bible. You're, getting, you're going to get more. Huh? Thank, you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> because people love to complain about what has not happened, but they forget about what God has done. If you sit down, hmm? there's a song. I don't know if you did this song, Count Your Blessings. Mm -hmm. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord, what has, the Lord done. has done. So if you get a book and you write, so why are we complaining about things that we don't have? What about things that we already have? Hmm. So, hmm. And when you are grateful about what you have, you get another one. Yes, sir. And you keep getting. Yes, sir. Because again, it is, like I said, your attitude. Because mm. mm. the way you show gratitude will make those that have not given you something or those that have not helped you before, be, they'll be willing to help you. Yes, sir. they see grace in you. They see yes, that you're showing gratitude. Yes, and sir. the fact that you're able to show gratitude, it means that you also have empathy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So when you are complaining a lot, it means that you are not grateful mm. and you may not have empathy. Yes, sir. And people will be careful dealing with you. Yes, sir. So what have you achieved? Yes, sir. Why don't you show gratitude? Even if that's not you all day or mm. every day, mm. the moment you show it, you don't know who that, that gratification has inspired mm. onto your head. You should gratitude when you need to. I don't complain. Because if, if they say you should, should stop calling people by the way they can complain, you won't come first. Yes. So True. so what's your True. problem? True. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. 
Uh, let's talk about family. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we're still on the show. Uh, if you're still watching us, I want to say thank you for uh, staying with us. Um, I just want to say this. I was thinking we should go on a break. Then when we come back, um, we should continue so that we can drink water. <laughs> so that we can drink water. So trying to try trying to avoid I truth. Okay, go ahead. All right. So I think we should go on, on a short break. Then mm -hmm. we will be right back. So yeah. I'm gonna show one uh, small video right here that I have for us. Okay, I'm gonna play play the music of my, my friend. Ivan Sigodalo. Joy will always come in the morning. I want you to go watch the um uh, the some of his uh music. He has some powerful music. He, he actually has a song for Nigeria as well. Very powerful song. Very very powerful song. So, uh, thank you, Evans, for producing this. Welcome back to the show. I'm still speaking with Professor Aziz Butali. Uh, Prof, I want to say a big thank you to you because uh, you've said a lot of things that uh, anybody that listen and listen good to this uh, show today will learn a lot and their life will not remain the same. I was going to ask you a question before we uh, went, went on a break the other time and I was going to talk about families. One of the things that I've seen in the past is um, when people, you know, like most men don't know how to balance things between their family and their life. And um, I, I feel this is also part of mentoring. This is also part of um, knowing how to lead. How did you do it? Uh, because I see you are still very close with your your siblings, your mom, your sisters, and you don't have issue with that. So how did you do that? A man needs to learn how to do that. How they? Yeah, like I said, um, I don't make emotional decisions. Yes, sir. And I try to make things black and white, and mm. I apply emotional intelligence. Mm. I try to communicate as much as I can, and communication is not talking all, all the time. Mm. I listen. Yes, sir. And because I listen, all the people you've mentioned in my family, they they, they see me as someone that they can talk to, and I mm. listen to them, and we so and that has kept mm. our relationship as mm. solid as it has been. Mm. And same thing mm. I do for my immediate family. Mm. So. And I try to, you know, discuss things. I, you know, my sister said something in June when I, they had a party for me. She said, everybody in my family, I always have time for them. That she was even happy that I was for family. That when she spoke to a friend of mine, she said, ah, Butali, if you send me a text, he will reply you. Yes. If you tell me you want to talk to him, he will create time for you. And he's a professor, he's busy, he does research. How does he do all these things? And I told my sister, I said, I don't spend time with people more than 10, 15 minutes, but yes. I just believe for you to tell me you want to talk to me about something, it must be very important. 
Mm. So, you know, just listening to you might even help you because you've sounded an idea on someone and mm -hmm. the person has listened to you, that can give you some relief. So I've learned not to just ignore. It's when the, you know, some of those discussions are going in a direction where it's of no use to my time in terms of, mm -hmm. it's not really helping that I try to, mm -hmm. you know, severe, you know, some of those. Mm -hmm. But most of the time I try to listen, I give people attention, I, you know, and it has made me a better person because believe it or not, those people, I've learned so much from them. It's not just me giving to mm. them. I'm to learn from them. So mm. that has allowed me to have this relationship we're talking about with family. I, my fa For me, my family is very important. Mm -hmm. I, family first. Yeah, you know, family comes first. Yes. No, I, I, that's, there's no compromise on that. Yeah. Family comes first. Family first. Yeah, that's the first on my agenda in terms mm -hmm. of priority. And there's a, so, there are so many reasons for that. Mm -hmm. For those that have gone through a lot in their lives, you realize that your biggest support comes from your family. Yes, if sir. your family understands you as an individual. So for me, family comes first because they understand me and they give me the support I need all the time. Yes, sir. I don't compromise that. And I give them the attention that they deserve all the time. And I give them the resources that I have as much as I can mm -hmm. give. I don't compromise that. So yes. for every young man, you know, sometimes what most men don't understand is by virtue of being a man, you have already taken a leadership role. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you are the lord of the manor. No, it just means that people look up to you to do something right. And that thing right might not be something very big. It might just be the fact that you're able to listen, mm -hmm. you're able to mediate, you're able to discuss, have a conversation. It's not the best debater is not the person that speaks mm -hmm. the loudest, but the person that, you know, helps mm -hmm. you, you know, bring the discussion together until you get to a logical conclusion. That alone, you know, that's what some people want to see. So mm -hmm. leadership and um, family requires mm -hmm. a lot. I can't, I, it's a whole day lecture if I'm going to go into this, but it's a mm -hmm. lot. Giving yourself into it. You know, you don't just listen and you ignore. Even by even calling the next day, I tried to do that as well, just to follow up on that conversation. That person feels important. Oh, mm -hmm. I just called me, and I just oh, I just wanted to follow up on the conversation. Yes, I do that a lot. My study, you know, my study, my wife too tells me, "You go to try it, you believe." But you know, you only have time to, you know, this one will send a message. You are replying, you know. Well, I enjoy it, and I've grown into it, and so I don't know how to explain it any better, but. I, I've, I've lived it, so it's easy for me to tell it as a tale. So it's not like the book stuff. It's you know, give yourself into it. For you to be a wonderful family man. I'm still also work in progress. I'm not, I'm not there yet. But I think it's what we should all strive to do. Yes. Thank you so much, bro. Um, what I heard from what you have said since we started this conversation is you are intentional about what you do. Mm -hmm. So if a man will get to the position of leadership, if a man will be a true man, if a man will grow into being a man, um, then they have to be intentional about it. Sometimes it won't come easily. Sometimes it doesn't come for free. Um, from what I've heard from you, you're saying that it requires listening. It requires time management. It requires uh, giving time. Uh, it requires uh, supporting. Uh, it, it requires creating time. It requires fairness. And that's what I've heard from you. Thank you so much, Prof. Um, uh, I think... Um, my last question here will be about mentoring now. I remember that when we started, I, you know, all the questions are actually around mentoring. And I realized that your first mentor were your parents. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of people that we choose as mentor, you, you were not my first mentor. I had, you know, in so many areas of my life i choose mentor around there and um prof i will not deceive you i have seen people that are your mentor simply because they want to take advantage of you 
you and um Mrs. Adara uh the CEO of EZ Business Solution uh with those two wonderful people that uh I cannot forget you know uh for you know your role in teaching and directing and you were giving and have also seen people who are even um Christians who are leaders who we trusted and we want to ask them question uh i'm saying this anybody can see this, this video so I, I i'm not i'm not i'm not going to mix it uh, i've seen someone who happens to be a mentor and i wanted to ask her a question prof and she asked me to send money she asked me to send money first before she can respond to my question um that was really painful for me uh she wasn't even the first person who did that another one also did that and um you know i i i i, I have reservation about it i wasn't offended but i just realized that not everybody qualifies to be a mentor mm -hmm. so how do we recognize a mentor mm -hmm. how do we how do we grow into uh, the space of being able to mentor because we are always at the middle there are people we are looking up to and there are people who are looking up to us how, how do we get to that space because i'm not seeing you you don't use people you build people so mm -hmm. how how did you get to that space uh, and how should people get to that space how can people get to that space so let me start with that statement where you say i don't use people i build people because if you build people they will work with you to achieve something if you use people they will only do what you want at that time and but it must it cannot it may not be sustainable Yes, sir. Are you trying to do a one-off or you are trying to build a relationship? Mm. If you, the moment you decide to be a mentor, you should be ready to create time. You should be ready to give part of yourself. So a mentor asking for money is not a mentor. That person is a service provider. So mm. you're not a mentor. Okay, you should be ready to give part of yourself. I give part of myself when I mentor people. You should be ready to see that person move from point A to B and stay with the person. But you are not going to stay in front of the person. Because a mentor should help someone, then stay behind that person and let your mentee be in front. Mm. Then you provide support for your mentee as needed. Mm. Otherwise, your mentee will not be independent. Mm. That's why people miss it. The person that's always in front of you after helping you is your boss, mm. not your mentor. Mm. Your mentor, after helping you to a certain level, should be behind you and you take the lead. As I said, in a mentor-mentee relationship, the most important person is the mentee. It is the mentee that drives that relationship because it is you that will show, this is what I need help with, your mentor will respond accordingly. Mm -hmm. And you don't need one mentor, you need several mentors because they all have different expertise. Mm -hmm. A mentor can be a life coach, a mentor can be a sponsor, a mentor can be a, a teacher, a mentor can be a confidence so one person can fill all these roles and multiple people can fill each one of the roles but what is important is for you that you're looking for a mentor if you don't see any of these and then that person is not your mentor that person is that writing a service or your boss as one now for mentees that also want to become mentors that's what they call apprenticeship and emulation those that have mentored you, what have they done to you? Mm. Right? Have they shown you empathy? Mm. Have they given you direction? Have they given you resources? Have they given you time? Mm. Have they given you connection? Have they put you in their network? Can you do the same for the person that you want to mentor? Mm. If you, the answer is yes, then you can be a good mentor yourself. Mm -hmm. One thing my mentors have always told me is Aziz, Whenever I, I'm showing gratitude to them, they say, as he's paid forward. Yes, sir. I'm watching now. That's the same thing I'm telling you. I say, 
Oh, Prof, I want to say thank you. I'm coming to school. I said, no, pay it forward. Look for someone and do the same. If you do that, you've set up a domino effect, a chain reaction that mm. everybody then had have the minimum standard required to become a good mentor. Yes, sir. And once you do that, it resonates with the next generation. Mm. So mentoring, if you want to be a mentor, be ready to give your time, yourself, resources, people, network, and go out of your way. Being Sometimes you, there needs to be a little bit of inconvenience for you. Mm. As who a mentor is. Be ready to sponsor. When there's an opportunity, oh, these opportunities will be very good for Tosin. I call Tosin to grab it. This opportunity is very good for Aziz. I call Aziz to grab it. And that's what a mentor does, creates opportunity. I might not even do anything more than just linking you up. But that yes. connection will propel you. Yes. That's a mentor. Yes. Yes. Now, mentee, now I'm putting up responsibilities on the mentee. Be the one to dictate what you want from your mentor because your mentors are busy. Yes, sir. A good mentor is always very busy because everybody wants you to mentor them. Yes, sir. So you have little time for each person. Mm -hmm. But again, a good mentor must always create time. You can see there's a need for balance. Yes, sir. So that mentee must make sure that mentor's time is valuable. Mm -hmm. You don't just go to your mentor for the sake of contacting your mentor. You must go to your mentor for specific needs so that your mentor can work with you to mm. make the best of the time, because that time is precious. Mm. Otherwise, if your your needs are not well articulated, mm. your, your mentor will not put as much interest in you mm. because you don't even know what you want. Mm. And your mentors are not magicians, they're human beings. Mm -hmm. So mentees should also take responsibility for ensuring that that relationship can get to the best that it can be. So that's where I leave that point. So being a good mentor requires having, having very good mentees as well. Mm. Okay, because mentors are not superhumans. They respond. Okay? Some of them are proactive if they see that you are very good but you don't have direction. Mm. But most times they respond. Mm. To so mm. for me, I have done both. I have been proactive where I say, oh, this person needs direction. I intervene. Mm. And I have also responded where mentees request for help and I respond accordingly. Mm. I try to do both because mm. I try to empower myself with information as well. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, bro. I, uh, we can thank you enough because um, we have been, <laughs> we have been running and asking to bring you for six months. So we decided to maximize the opportunity <laughs> to speak with you now <laughs> so we really want to say a big thank you um we did not take this for granted we want to say a big thank you thank you so much sir um we really appreciate you um yeah. uh how can people connect with you or before i say that there's there's a question i always want to uh I ask that is there anything that I did not talk about and you will like to talk about to a man out there, maybe a call to action, what they need to start doing today to become a better man, to grow into um, being a man from being a boy? Oh, well, um, the only thing I'm just going to say is um, they should learn to communicate and communication is not just by talking, you listen. And they should trust, if they're with a woman, they're married, they should trust their partner to be equal in the process of achieving that dream that you have in your head. Don't keep it as your dream. Make it our dream. Make it the dream of the family. Mm -hmm. And trust your partner to work with you for progress. And when you have challenges with your partner, getting her on board, spend time. Sometimes these things take time. They don't happen overnight. And always empower yourself. Read mm -hmm. as much as you can watch um programs that would help enlighten you ask questions when you know ask questions when you don't know ask questions when you're not sure ask questions mm. you can only know more by asking it will not diminish mm. what you already know yes sir yes so, sir every young man out there as you are going keep asking questions mm. and you will be satisfied with average mm. always trying mm. to be the best you can be because you'll be surprised where that will take you mm. and i wish everybody well and um, before I drop that, um, let me just say thank you so much, Tosin. Yes, um, thanks for your patience. Um, we kind of set this up for months. 
Yes, and honestly, I it's not as if I was ignoring your request. It's just that you know the way these things are, you know. But this is a Sunday morning here in Iowa, and this is the time we can make it work. Yes, sir. I, I'm glad that thank your you, patient sir. has finally um, come through, and um, thank you for the opportunity. I enjoy doing yes, this, you know. I enjoy spending my time, sharing my time, building capacity, human resources. Yes. The best thing you can ever have is people. And yes. I don't play with that. Um, they're the yes. best results you can have. So thank you very much for the opportunity yes, today. Yes. And I hope I've shared as much as I can. Yes. And also, um, I will put this caveat there. I'm not perfect. I've only shared with you some of the things that have worked for me. Yes, Look sir. for what works for you. And by the grace of God, things are going to turn out well. Thank you so much, Prof. I really appreciate you. So I want to say a big thank you. Um, like I always um, tell people, uh, when I bring people to a moment of growth and transformation, um, I always tell people uh, one or two things that they have done for me that has brought a change in my life. And uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say props on, I'm going to say one of them because there are many of them that has brought a change for me. And one of them is when you are trying to take a rash decision, because uh, I'm quick to, I want results. I want fast, 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 fast. Why are you not you know and when i'm trying to like hey do it all you know then prof will say no that's not how to do it you need to learn how to fight without fighting <laughs> so and, and it works it resolves a lot of issues you know it helps me you know become a better me because i'm always learning to become a better me every day and that's why i love transformation so um that alone for me is a great transformation because it has turned so many relationships around for me for that alone for learning to fight without fighting mm -hmm. oh god it's it's a lot for me so thank oh, you so god. much bro um pleasure. i want to say a big thank you um how can people connect with you they um, will follow you um so it's as this butali on facebook on instagram the same name on twitter is uh a butali too um on linkedin is still as this butali and yeah, those are my social media and LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and link and um and Instagram. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um I'll say a big thank you to everyone for watching. Uh this is gonna be in two parts. So uh I'm gonna break this video into two, then you're gonna watch the first part. Then you're gonna watch the second part. Make sure you watch it in full because this is full of wisdom, knowledge, uh, transformation. So I want to say a big thank you, and I'm 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 giving a big shout out to all my mentors out there, all my wonderful mentors out there who has been a blessing to me. I want to say a big thank you to you. I celebrate you always, Mrs. Adara Ayoade. I celebrate you, uh, Professor Botali, my brother Shemu Latoye. I celebrate all of you. So I want to say a big thank you. Thank you for watching the show don't forget to subscribe like and share until i come your way again keep becoming a better you because things actually work when we work it and i'll see you next week bye for now thank you so much bro i appreciate joy will always come in the morning